Welcome to Kids Church Online! Before we start our episode for today, let's all pray, patience! Okay! Father, I pray for everyone watching Kids Church Online. As we celebrate Resurrection Sunday or Easter Sunday, we remember what you did on the cross. Because you love us so much, you gave your life for us. We love you, Lord. We also want to pray for our country and the countries of the world. We pray that you stop the virus from spreading. In Jesus' name, Amen! amen. Before we start, let us dance our power verse! Yay! Are you excited? So let's all welcome teacher Annika! Would you like to experience it? Okay, 
So why don't you get a blanket in your room and ask your parents or anyone with you at home to wrap you up in a blanket? That sounds so much fun! Mm-hmm. Okay, are you ready? Are you being wrapped up? How does it feel to be wrapped up? It looks really hard, Teacher Maylene. Yes, it's so uncomfortable and it's hard to move. It's hard to scratch your nose. I can scratch your nose. Thank you. It's hard to write your name or comb your hair, right? Or drink water. And, and to fly. Uh-huh, it would be hard for you patients to fly. How about you kids? How do you feel right now? Teacher May, do you need help? Yes, please, patience. Can you help me, please? Okay, I'll try my best. with you at home to help you remove that blanket. It reminds me of our story for today. One of Jesus' friends, Lazarus, was wrapped up in a cloth, but not by accident. What? Someone wrapped him up on purpose? Yes, because he got sick and died. How sad! Yes, it's sad at first, but you know what? Jesus raised him back to life and his friends helped him remove the cloth from his body so that he can start living once again. Wow, just like how I helped you a while ago, Teacher Maylene. Yes, just like how you helped me. You mean to tell me Jesus raised someone to life? Yes, Jesus raised someone from the dead. Wow! Yes, it's truly amazing. That's why our lessons for this month is about getting to know Jesus more and more. And our lesson for today is about Jesus as the resurrection and the life. So you want to learn more about Jesus today? Yeah! Okay, so let's watch this video and hear from Pastor Carlo. Jesus is the Resurrection. On a heartbreaking day in the little town of Bethany, Jesus came for his friends, Lazarus, Martha, Mary. Jesus heard of Lazarus. His friend was sick. He traveled two days, but death came too quick. Jesus knew he'd be late but was he really, truly late? Martha came running. My Lord, why weren't you here? Had you come earlier, we wouldn't have lost our brother so dear. Jesus turned and looked at her. Martha's eyes were sodden. He said, your brother will rise. Lazarus will be alive again. With all her heart, Martha agreed. Yes, Lord, he will rise, on the last day indeed. Jesus replied, I am the resurrection, I am the life. All who believe in me will never really die. Martha then knew that he was the one. Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior, the Son. We all know what happened to Jesus' close friend. Lazarus awakened and left his tomb in the end. Not too soon after Lazarus was raised, Jesus of Nazareth hung on the cross. They buried his body inside a tomb, but death could not hold him. 
death was doomed. The power Christ had when he rose from the dead is the same power we have. And that's what the Bible said. But this amazing power is only for those who believe Jesus is Savior and believe that he rose. Hi kids! Oh, I want to play a game with you. Can we play a game? We've been so cooped up. Let's do it now. Let's play a game of virtual or online tag. Okay, you know how tag works, right? I touch you and you have to freeze. All right? Try to avoid my touch when I'm touching at the camera. And then later on, you have your chance to tag me. Okay? Let's go! One, two, three. Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, whoa! Oh, did I get you freeze? Oh, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you! Doing! Okay, now when I touch you again, you can get back in the game and unfreeze. Doink! All right, how'd you do? Now it's your chance to tag me at the count of one, two. Okay, somebody tag me again, please. Ah, thank you for tagging me again and getting me back in the game. <laughs> We're at the second week of our series, Deeper, where we're going to get to know Jesus, to say it with me, deeper and deeper, okay? And we played that game because Jesus also brought somebody who was out of the game back into the game of life. We're talking about his best friend. Do you have a best friend? His best friend's name was Lazarus. And this story is in John chapter 11, just like we watched a while ago. And he, Jesus heard that his best friend was sick and dying. But this tells us something about Jesus. So when I say Jesus, you shout, Jesus! Okay? All right. When Jesus heard the news that his best friend was dying, it showed us this. Jesus, Jesus is not afraid when we have problems. When we're sick, when we're sad, when we're bored, Jesus knows, but he is not afraid. So, going back to the story, he stayed a while, but when he got to his friend Lazarus, he already died. Oh no. And this is what his sister Martha said. I know, Jesus, that he will rise again someday, on the last day. But get what Jesus said. Jesus said this. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Could you say, resurrection? Resurrection. That means coming back from being dead. Once someone is dead, he can get back into the king, being brought to life. That's resurrection. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will have life even if he dies. <gasps> wow, Jesus, that's amazing. So when Jesus went to the tomb, where Lazarus was buried, something happened. Jesus cried, the Bible says. He wept many tears. Can you say Jesus again? Say Jesus! Jesus! Jesus feels what we feel. When we're sad, he can get sad too. Can you make a sad face? Let's do faces. <laughs> Jesus gets sad too. When we're angry and mad, you know Jesus got mad. He gets mad at sin. He gets mad too. 
or when we're lonely and ashamed. Jesus can hug us. Jesus feels what we feel. So when Jesus got to the tomb, he shouted out. He cried out in a loud voice, like he was mad at death or something. Lazarus, come out! And the dead man came out. And he was so wrapped with all these, the, the clothes that they put around the, the dead, like, like mummies. And Jesus said, take the, clothes, the cloths off of him. And Lazarus came back to life. That shows us finally that Jesus, shout Jesus, Jesus! Jesus holds life in his hands. Jesus holds life and he can give us forever life. Does anybody want the life Jesus can give to him? I want one, I want it. Well, Jesus holds that forever life and he can give it to us. Isn't that great? That's why our power truth says, knowing who Jesus is, makes me love and obey Him more and more. Could you say that with me? Knowing who Jesus is makes me love and obey Him more and more. And remember our power verse? You can have grace and peace because you truly know God and Jesus our Lord. Why don't we dance that right now? Go for teacher Attica! Jesus. Guess what? The, what happened to Lazarus that when he died and Jesus brought him back, well, Jesus himself died. He was nailed on the cross. Do you remember? That's what we celebrate during this Holy Week. But it's kind of like this banana. Ooh, that's a banana, teacher? Yes, it's a banana. <laughs> and it looks well, kind of, if I may say, ugly and rotten, right? Who would eat this? But that's what death is like. Jesus was covered in death for a while. And not just that, death and sin. My sin and your sin. All the hate and fear and anger and sadness in the world, Jesus took it. But... The beautiful thing that we're celebrating today is that three days later, Jesus rose again. And his body was now the glorified, pure, and strong, resurrected body. That is so awesome. But guess what? 
he can do the same thing for us. If I take another organic banana, these are organic bananas, don't try it with any other kind, but he can take our lives full of sin and sadness and anger and hate and loneliness and he can take away that sin take away that sorrow take away that shame and the loneliness and give us a life that is beautiful a life that is wonderful a life that is forever oh and a life that's mm, pretty sweet do you want that life mm. Why don't you pray with me? Lord Jesus, thank you for giving up your life on the cross so you could take away my sin. Thank you for rising again from the dead. Everybody raise your hands. Can you raise your hands? Yay! Thank you, Lord Jesus. Woohoo! Shout out! Woohoo! Thank you, Lord Jesus, for rising from the dead so that I can also have forever life with you. Please, can my friends and family see you too and also receive the gift of life you give? This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen! God bless you kids. Enjoy the sweet life, the forever life that Jesus gave to you. Bye-bye! Hi kids and welcome back to Craft time with Teacher Plum! That's me! Before we start our craft for today, I want to show you guys the pictures that you sent us. Pictures of your crafts. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Thank you for doing such a good job and sharing it with us. It puts smiles on our faces to see that you did such beautiful crafts for our lesson, Jesus, the Bread of Life. Now for this week, our lesson was... That's correct! Jesus is the resurrection and the life. So we talked about Lazarus being raised from the dead by Jesus. So our craft for today is this tiny diorama of an empty tomb and Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead. So you see this is Lazarus. He was still wrapped up with the grave clothes but Jesus told his friends to help Lazarus remove the cloth. Are you ready kids? We're gonna make it! Good job! So, when I made this craft, I used this plastic pot. This is something that we had at home, but if you don't have this plastic pot, you can use a plastic cup or maybe a cereal box, anything that can look like a tomb. We'll also need these printouts. I use this for the stone and the Jesus and the Lazarus printout. So ask your parents to click on the link below so that they can have a copy of the printable files. We'll also need a paper plate, some double-sided tape, my favorite double-sided tape, scissors, okay, be careful with the scissors, okay, and some crayons. So, Let's begin. Take your plastic pot or your plastic cup or your cereal box or whatever and cut a door that will look like the entrance of the tomb. Do you know what a door looks like? It looks like something like this. You see it? There is a door. Next, let's cut these printouts. So first, I'm cutting the stone of the tomb. Next, 
Next, I'm gonna cut Jesus and Lazarus. This is Lazarus. And this is Jesus. So if you can see, they have tiny spaces underneath their feet. So we're just gonna fold that inward so that later on they can stand on your paper plate like this. Now set these aside and let's go back to the stone. Did you know that during Jesus' day, tombs were covered with heavy stones? Back in Jesus' day, they buried their dead in places called tombs and they would usually cover the tombs with a heavy large stone and this is our stone so you can either stick it on or you can leave it like this so that later you can pretend that you're rolling it out to see that there's an empty tomb let's put some double-sided tape at the back on just one side a tiny piece like this then remove the double-sided tape film and stick the stone on the side of the entrance of the tomb it should look something like this now we can color Jesus and Lazarus you end up with something like this now, you're done coloring Jesus and Lazarus, you can place them in, on your paper plate. You can either glue them on so that they don't fall off, or you can pretend that Jesus is calling Lazarus, come out! And he'll come out from the tomb, and people will start removing his grave clothes. And that's it! We're now done with our craft! I'm excited to see your versions of this craft. So, until next week, bye! What a wonderful craft by Teacher Plum! Yeah, but that craft would really test my patience. Yep, and speaking of testing your patience, it's time for our... Test of Patience! So, the mechanics for the test of patience is simple. I have a question, and you kids should help patients answer the questions. Are you ready, kids? Okay, let's begin. Thank you, kids. So, question number one. What were the names of Jesus' friends in the story? Um... did the sister send to Jesus? Um, kids? Oh, yeah! They wanted to say that their brother, Lazarus, was sick. Yes! Correct once again! Yahoo! Congratulations and thank you, kids! Question number three. When Jesus arrived at the sister's place, was Lazarus still sick? Mm. Mm. No, he had already...
already died. Aww, that's too sad, but it's correct. Okay, congratulations. Question number four. Did Lazarus remain dead? Oh, yeah. He did not remain dead. He did not remain dead, correct. Great job. Does teacher me? Yes, yes. Jesus resurrected him. Perfect. Awesome. Great job, patients and kids. Question number five. Complete the sentence. Jesus said, I am the blank, 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 and blank. So, four blanks. Um, kids, a little help. I am the... Oh, that's right. I am the resurrection and the life. Yes! Perfect! Yay! Awesome, patients! Great job, kids! Okay, are you ready for the last question? Okay, here we go! Question number six. Do you think you will be able to live with Jesus in heaven? And why do you think so? I think I will be able to live with Jesus in heaven because... I have Jesus in my heart. Great! That's correct! Because Jesus is in your heart, you're sure to live with Jesus in heaven. How about you kids? Awesome! Okay! So, I hope you enjoyed our lesson for today. Hope to see you next week. Did you enjoy patience? I had so much fun, teacher me! Yep, how about you?